Uh, like so, we're here um, to to uh, appreciate uh, Paul. Uh, sorry, Don, but no, Paul is the man who drew my attention to Donald O'Sullivan. Some people knew Donald. Uh, but where's the chap with the uh, droopy mustache? Uh, sorry, how are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. You knew uh, Donald quite well. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just a bit. I have a shit gig to do down in Loch and I have to be quick drive down there. I don't know. Some of you might not be familiar with Donald Sullivan. The first time I saw him, I thought uh, it's very similar to uh, where's Paul? Who's he similar to? Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon. That's it. Yeah. And, I, and so I was drawn to it uh, immediately. But interestingly, uh, for me, um, I, I see these famous figures in literature and philosophy, and uh, as creative people, we strive for immortality, but ultimately we're dead. Uh, eventually, and we live on in people's minds, and there's something very impotent about it. And then a friend of mine looked at the painting, and she said, "Geez, that's very creepy." And obviously, Paul, uh, with respect, did commit suicide, and obviously suffered yeah. great. Don't 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 Paul, he's still alive. Financial suicide. financial suicide. This is an Irish audience. I feel a lot of hostility from people right now. <laughs> But I sense that all you people are like, you're fucking wanker. <laughs> this guy is annoying. <laughs> Doesn't care to see, he says it. He's involved, he's a guru, he does yoga, whatever. So, my point is that uh, I think, obviously, Donald suffered from depression. And I don't know if any of you uh, have had experience or know people who are depressed. You wouldn't wish it on your worst in enemy. So, uh, uh, this uh, playwright called Martin McDonough, um, you know, some of you like him, I don't know. He talked about there are t two types of people, the people who write from their own experience or people who use their imagination. And I think a lot of artists obviously use their imagination, but this guy was obviously living this. And I think he, he, he drew from, from a, a very dark place. Um, ultimately, if you look into it, so you can say it's is an ultimate act of selfishness because they leave behind people who love them and all the rest. But if you're so sick mentally uh, and you don't see a difference between living and dying, uh, so. But I, I think that does uh, give a context to some some of the paintings. But what, what I, I I wouldn't have the appreciation that Paul has of don't because don't because uh, Paul well, is it the same person as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> is, is uh, such a, a huge uh, fan of Donald's work and uh, I think actually it's great that Paul has put this together uh, so that a, a wider group of people can appreciate Donald uh, who went through the NCAD thing which as far as I'm concerned, it's fucking death to creativity. I hate the fucking place. I genuinely don't mean, I mean that I can't stand everyone. The MCAD, I hate the Abbey Theatre, I hate the whole bit. But, but he, so, so I think he's, he's got an original uh, style and all the rest of it, and it's such a shame that his, his life ended before he got the appreciation that he really richly deserved. And uh, thank you, Paul, for asking me to do this. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. is my name. Uh, I first came across Donald's work maybe three or four years ago. Uh, I bought one in an auction and from that day I was like, oh my god, who is this guy? Um, Laura, my girlfriend, is here beside me, uh, found Marie, Donald's sister. Marie is hovering here and Marie. Mary. Mary, sorry. Uh, Seen as we're correct in names. <laughs> Go, go up there and stand next to him. I so really <laughs> And I'm, we visited Marie about a year and a half. Marie! Hey, Paul! We, we visited David Savage a year ago. And, uh, I couldn't believe when I got there that what I found, there was the folders of this incredible work that had simply been forgotten since 1991 when Marie emptied his apartment and uh, it was just humbling to see the work and uh, some of it, like this particular, like his, his drawings in particular are absolutely sensational um, so it was, I don't know, uh, when Marie and I were deciding to do this show uh, the brief bio, uh, we were saying what we were going to write 
and we came up with like we should just write Dono as a fucking dude <laughs> and leave it at that because you can kind of when you look at the work it, it, it speaks for itself in a sense there's, there's mystery there's darkness there's introspection there's all those things that we kind of look into ourselves and it's I don't know there's, that's what art should be it should kick you in the face it should be uh, ask questions about yourself um, I'll ask Marie, Marie, Marie to uh, come and say a few words Uh, I was going to hand you over today, Joe. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> 